Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and we're in the shave den and I want to tell you, I've kept this a secret from you, but there is a new razor coming out and I actually got a, my hands on a prototype about six months ago and uh, the company, they said, we don't want you to do a video on it or anything, we just want you to try it and, and give us your comments. And that was the high proof razor. And the one I tried uh, was in plain silver and Otherwise, except for the lettering was not on it, it's very much the same. Now, this uses a double-edged blade snapped in half, and it's got a magnet, oh, it's got a pivoting head, and a strong magnetic cap. And when I first heard of this razor and was trying it, I thought the magnet's not gonna hold. But surprisingly, it did. And this is CNC aluminum, all made in the USA, as well as they have a razor stand that uh, has suction cups on the back, micro suction cups, and it will hold your razor on a smooth surface. Let's take a look. All right, well, here is the base, and you can see it's got that plastic protecting on the back, and that's where it has its micro suction cups. So let me see if I can take that plastic off. And... Let's stick it right here on the wall, or the mirror, and there you go. There you go. Very handy if you're traveling. Very handy to have in a hotel room. I like it. So now I can have the razor right in front of me. And what I'm thinking of is that is a great travel razor. I mean, by the way, this is the lightest razor that I have ever tried. It is so light, unbelievably light. And I believe it comes in two colors now, as I said, black and silver. So they uh, provided me some Persona Blues made in the USA. This razor is made in the USA and the stand is made in the USA. And they're gonna begin their Kickstarter campaign. If you guys have been in the wet shaving for a while, you know a lot of these razor companies, they do like a Kickstarter campaign. And then uh, once they get uh, enough funds, they start producing the razors. So the Kickstarter campaign starts 10, 10, 22. So that's next Monday. Now my problem, sometimes I'm a little late, you know, I'm getting these videos out. And by the time I get the video out, they've already met their uh, required number for the Kickstarter and they're not taking any more orders. So I didn't want that to happen. So. Uh, I'm not saying you need to buy this razor, but if you're interested, the link is in the description of this video and you can get your foot in the door before these are released. I'm told uh, they will be shipping out early December of 2022, so you will have them before the holidays. So my goal today is just to try this bad boy out and see how it does. So I'm going to be using Persona Blue today. I'm going to be using some Parasso, uh for sensitive skin shave cream. I'll do a face lather. I'm gonna use Parasso from Italy. I'm gonna use uh, the aftershave. And for the brush, I just have a restored C40 synthetic. So I'm gonna put this into here. All right, so what I know is they've been developing this razor since 2020. So it's been two years. And uh, the two gentlemen who own the company have been refining it. And uh, like I said, they reached out to me and I was anxious to do a video on it uh, six months ago. And they said, no, please don't, no video. Just give us your opinions. We're trying to get uh, everything worked out. And it appears so far they have. I didn't have any issue. I was nervous about the uh, magnet. It was no problem at the time. And the colors. It's good to have multiple color offerings and it'd be nice to see a red and a blue in there. So, but right now I believe it's only black and silver. All right, so. How, how you load this is similar to, uh, there's a few razors out here that use DE blades or one half of them, the Leaf, for example. Uh, all you have to do, you hear snap, one, two, she snapped. I open this up and that's Persona USA. I've had some good caffeine this morning, gents. All right, there's the blade. Now. The blade, I'm gonna take the cap off. The blade magnetically 
snaps into place there. We're in. Now let me put the cap back on. It's hard to do with a camera rolling. There's your blade. There's your blade exposure. And you have a pivoting head. So it gives you some of the, uh, hang on a second. It gives you some of the similar features. This is my in-shower uh, razor, Gillette Track 2. Two blades though, but pivoting head. This razor does not use DE blades. This one does. So that's gonna save you a lot of money. So let me uh, lather up. We'll get this uh, shave started, shall we? All right. Yeah, I've done videos before, and then I read the comments. Hey, Ken, they're sold out already. Well, I, I, you know, they asked me, can you release this prior to 1010? I'm doing it a week early. But that'll give you guys a chance, if you're interested, to get on the list or to do whatever you need to do. Okay. It's not my toothpaste. It's a nice thing of Paraso. Got my... Put a little on there, or in there. See if I can get a face lather going. Lucky I'm not doing this in the jungle, right? I'd be camouflaged, you wouldn't even notice me. You'd see this floating head, you'd go, man, that looks like Hawaiian camouflage there. <laughs> it's still warm here in SoCal, so. Like Hawaii. Yeah, the way I see it, the more people who are bringing in razors to use DE blades and DE razors, and I mean, it's got to let the giants, you know, know that there's a market out there and to maybe get back on the ball and get some DE razors and blades out there. All right, here we go. High proof. And you can use any DE blade. Okay, I'm gonna rinse it in the bowl. Knocked it down. Persona Blue are not always my favorite choice of blades. So if you do have a favorite choice, at least this gives you the versatility to use whatever you want. Very, very light. Skeletonized, right? Hear the feedback? And I am pushing on this, guys. I'm pushing, you can see. So it's a very forgiving razor, and that's what a lot of people with sensitive skin need. I'm pushing on this harder than I would with a DE blade, just to see the result. I'm not trying to cut myself in any way, but all right. Now I can stand to use a second pass as most of you do. These gents are from Montana. I've got a good buddy around here who uh, used to live in Montana, I guess as uh, folks still do, and he went to, he lived, I don't know, uh, he lived near Bozeman and he went to Montana State and we always hear the fun stories about Montana, but I, I've never been myself. I wanna go to, uh, uh, is it Yellowstone? I want to go to the national parks up there, but I just haven't done it yet. All right. You see it contouring to my face? Can you hear that? Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, I might have to replace that uh, track too in the shower. Or, you know, sometimes you have a quick shave. 
got to rush out the door. Hear it? There we go. All the way down. Oh, yeah. And do you watch my videos? I cut myself here a lot. Dry shaving it. No cuts. No cuts at all. Yeah, I can see for sensitive skin that gap would be really good. And, and it knocked down at a few days growth here. So no problem. All right. The only problem is I dropped the other half of that blade into my sink. And I <laughs> don't want that. I guess those guys were right. I would have put out a video six months ago. I'm saying it's not going to be available for six months. You know, that's not that good. But to put it out five, one week early, and at least to get you guys the information that you need to get if you're interested, there you go. Whew. No nicks. Very mild burn, which means to me it didn't take off a lot of skin, it just took off the hair. So if you're wanting to burn, you got to go with a sharper blade, but if you don't want the burn and you just want a good, you want the whiskers gone but your skin not to be irritated, that probably that persona will probably be too good for you. All right. Well, there we go. Let me uh, wipe off some of the, uh, the shaving cream. High proof, made in the USA. <sighs> worth a look, right? Definitely worth a, worth a look. I'm spoiled, I've got one now. Now, the only thing is, I hope in the future, gents, if all goes well and the Kickstarter campaign goes off and you're delivering and selling good, ponder maybe a few other colors because uh, one can never have enough, right? One can never have enough. And I definitely like that mount because that mount I can put, I can bring that mount on uh, vacation and just stick it on a mirror in the restroom, or the restroom, in the bathroom when I'm doing a shave and uh, I'll be in business. So, all right. Hi, Proof Shave Company. Thank you very much. And uh, like I said, the links are going to be in the description of this video. If you want to go take a look, take a look. You can read about their story. Uh, it's a good story. And I like entrepreneurs. And, uh, man, you guys should have went on Shark Tank or something. But uh, this way you're doing it yourself. And through the help of us wet shavers, you know, with a Kickstarter campaign, uh, you should do very good. Very well. I'm, I'm assuming very, very well. All right, everybody. Till next time, it's Ken Sir saying thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a great night.